So I've got something I want to talk about today, and this actually stems from a comment that somebody left. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on opportunities and how you actually have to work sometimes to achieve things. Anyway, I don't have that comment in front of me, so I'm going to have to paraphrase it. But essentially, somebody got in there, and anytime I mention Instagram, I get feedback like this, somebody who's clearly frustrated, and they said, well, you know, it's easy for you to say that because Instagram works really well when you're in your 20s and you're cool and you're hip and people want to follow you. And when you work really hard on an image and you post it and you get four likes and that's it. It's a big waste of time. So there's a lot to unpack here, but I do want to mention a couple things and I get these kinds of comments when Instagram comes up in the conversation, but working really hard on an image and then just posting it to Instagram and expecting an Instagram reaction to the image that you worked really hard on is kind of the wrong way to look at it. So I do okay on Instagram, but I do know some people that have actually become influencers on Instagram. I know several people with more than a million followers. I can tell you something about each one of those people. They didn't work really hard to post one image and expect a reaction on it. They worked extremely hard at Instagram. In fact, I can say in pretty much every case, it was a complete obsession. These are just people I know. I I think you could probably make the case where there's people that kind of fell into Instagram because they may have celebrities somewhere else or something like that. But again, I think we're looking at Instagram the wrong way and it's not our fault. I think it's part of the lie that Instagram perpetuates to us. So Instagram needs people on the platform so they can sell advertising and that's how the whole thing works. So I don't fault them on that, but the problem is is that they create kind of this false reality to people that get on there thinking that this is a great way that they're gonna be able to succeed very easily is the implication. So when you log in there and you see images that have, you know, thousands and thousands of likes on them and millions of followers and you think, oh, this is a great opportunity for me to get on there and I'll do the same thing. And so you just post an image now and then. Or maybe you post another one another time. Maybe you try one story and you're not really growing on Instagram. And I will admit, Instagram is actually very difficult to grow on these days, but I'm not saying it can't be done, but you're definitely not gonna do it if you're just going to have an expectation that there's no work involved. And that's something that you can say of anybody who's successful. And I've said this before, it's like what you don't see are all the hours and years of work that led up to where they are right now. You're just handed this package of saying, look, here's somebody who's very successful on a platform. Another thing that I wanna touch on that is very very dangerous that I really don't like about social media, any form of social media, is because we always see a post with some kind of public reaction attached to it. So with Instagram, it would be likes, or, and then you go click on the profile and you see how many people follow them. And that's a really, really dangerous benchmark for people because all of a sudden you're judging your self-worth by the number of likes on an image, or the, and that's not how it works. I also know incredible photographers. There are several very famous photographers who are on Instagram with very minimal followings, and you look at that and you're like, well, wait a minute. In the real world, this is somebody who is recognized and celebrated and very successful. They still work in galleries. They work for magazines. But in the Instagram world, the paradigm has kind of shifted a little bit. And that has to do with the platform. But there is another thing that I want to touch on in that comment that was left. And it had to do with, well, it's easy if you're in your 20s and you're hip and cool or whatever. And look, age, okay, this is a sensitive spot with me. The only reality here is that the world we live in tends to put celebrity status around one of two things, either young prodigies or old legends. And you can't be an old legend if you weren't a young prodigy. So that's a very dangerous thing too that a lot of us just see in culture and we have for years and that's just the way that is. When you turn on the television, that's who we celebrate. It's young prodigies and old legends. I also think that is complete nonsense. I'm going to share something with you that's pretty personal. It's not something that I talk about a lot, but I'll admit that I am one of those people who have always had a hard time with age. When I was 20, I thought it was really cool because I was out of college and I thought I was just going to take over the world. I thought I was smarter than everybody else. And then I got my ass handed to me, which is kind of what happens a lot at that age. Then I remember when I turned 30, that all of a sudden was a big decade year and that was a little bit problematic. I felt like all of a sudden 30 meant I was getting older and I hadn't succeeded in a lot of things. And the the reality is, is that my 30s were actually pretty cool. I actually learned some things. I was restarting in a lot of ways and I was getting my life together in a very different way. 30s were pretty cool. Then 40 came along and I was terrified. It meant that I'm now getting older and I'm maybe halfway through life now. Well, it turns out 40s are pretty cool too. People take you seriously. You start to experience some success because you've been working towards a goal. And I'm going to be honest, this year I'm going to be 50 and I'm terrified of that because it's another decade and I don't know what's behind 
behind that curtain. But one thing that comes with age is you realize you don't have any choice in the matter. It is what it is. So how are you going to deal with it mentally so you don't freak out? And what is your point of reference? And so my point of reference is I look at people around me, people that I know, people that I respect, people I look up to. I know people in their 80s that are doing amazing work. I know people in their 20s that are doing amazing work. Am I going to be offended that I wasn't doing that in my 20s? Well, no, but it's just, it is what it is. There are people of all ages that do incredible stuff. Actually, I'll share something with you, and I'm not going to mention his name because I just thought of this and didn't have time to ask him if it was cool to share, but I know somebody, an individual who's older than I am. He's a really, really good photographer. I've shared his work on this show before. He's a good friend. He's only been photographing a couple years, and you would never know it. He's doing very interesting work. He is so into it. He's got the time. He's retired. He's like full into photography, and it is his passion, and it's really what drives him, and I think that is so amazing. I'm inspired by that, and this is somebody, like I said, he's only been shooting a few years, so it's like, it's all like, you know, when you look at the world and you look at things, like saying something like, well, Instagram's easy if you're somebody in your 20s, and when I hear a comment like that, I hear a weight to it that somebody is judging themselves based on their age and based on a platform that they feel is designed for younger people. If you want to do something with Instagram and you see that as an opportunity or Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or whatever that is, I don't think anybody cares. And this is the reality how old you are. What they care is what you're doing, whether it's interesting or not, whether it's something they can relate to. And you're going to build an audience around that, but you have to work at it and you, you, you can't let something like that stop you. I'm in full rant mode right now. And I'll admit that part of it is therapeutic for me because these are things that I worry about too, but this is the reality of the situation. And I feel like I'm in a position where when somebody says something like that, I want to offer something positive in response to that by saying, you're, you've got it wrong. Don't give up. Keep trying. You've got to just like follow the course. You've got to stay. Everything requires work and you've got to be patient with this. I can't say this enough. And I've said it in a lot of these videos. Patience is absolutely key because sometimes things take years. Sometimes they don't. It depends on who you are. It depends on everybody's going to be in a different situation. There's also a difference between being a really good photographer and being a really good Instagrammer. If that's the platform that you've chosen where you feel like there's an audience there that's going to relate to that work. Sometimes you have the wrong platform and that's another discussion for another day. But anyway, I just wanted to get real about some of that. Instagram isn't perfect and I think it's unfortunate that social media puts a lot of these ideas into our head, but it does. And so that's what I wanted to counter a little bit in this video. Anyway, I've ranted long enough. I would love to hear what you guys have to think. I'm sure there will be a few opinions. So drop me a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, later.